What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 2K20 Showcase Mode for Horsewomen. Again, I still feel like this game, this mode, is lacking for not having the entrances in this whole thing. Like, it's a big part of wrestling is the entrances, and this just doesn't have it here, which is, for a showcase mode, is just kind of a shame. Anyhow... Welcome to a fine Monday. It is a new week. Alexa Bliss, come on. No, follow me back in the ring, because my goal here is the standing strike on you in the ring. I did that. Damage, Miss Bliss. I can do that. I can manage that. So, we good. We outcha. Anyhow, it's Monday. Raw is tonight. Last night was Starcade on the network, which apparently had some serious issues on the network, where people couldn't watch Starcade. It was so bad, they started putting it on YouTube. They were streaming it on YouTube because it was so bad, they couldn't get it to work on their own network. And they are kind of in that transition from Flash to HTML5, I believe is the problem with their front end, back end, whatever else. Sure, alright. But man, that was, uh... From someone who wasn't watching it, it was funny to watch people, people reacting to what was happening there. It was a good time. Anyhow, now make sure to face Carmella. Mella is money. I'm facing the wrong way, ya. Yeah. That's what it is. That's what it does. We're here to do the dang thing. Straight fire. Oh, I'm sorry. A standing strong strike. I'm running strong strike. A standing strong strike. On a fun Monday morning. Uh, eliminate. That's the goal. That's the goal. Alexa, Naomi, Natalia, and Nikki. So not Carmella. So, not Carmella. Okay. I was gonna say, a choke slam from Alexa? No. So, I have to do all this? Me. I have to get all the eliminations here. Me. Or if somebody else gets eliminated, does that count or not count? Uh, I don't know. But, Naomi. Oh, Nikki Bella. Come on now. Strong style from Nikki Bella. Anyhow. Because it is Monday. Because Raw is this evening. Uh, we have news that Joe returns to commentary tonight on Raw. Which means Dio is still out of action on commentary on Raw. And I feel like, and I, I could be wrong, but I feel like when Michael Cole got F5'd by Brock Lesnar and his shoes flew off, he was back faster than Dio. I feel like when Jerry Lawler literally died on commentary and he came back faster, then Dio getting F5'd by Brock Lesnar into the table. Um, like, I don't understand. Is there a problem with Dio that we don't know about? Like, what is the deal here? And why is he gone for like a month after an F5 from Brocky Boy? I don't... I don't get it. I don't get it. But that is the word. And hey, Joe is good on commentary. So I'm not going to argue there. And if he still has that thumb, that broken thumb, then yeah, use Joe. Get Joe on TV. I'm not going to complain there. Right? But the fact that you have Dio, and he is still out from this apparent thing from, uh, this F5 from one, uh, a Brock Lesnar to Naomi, you done. Tell me who next. Tell me who next. Nikkei. Play with Nikkei. Play with Nikkei. Immediate. All right, look. Gonna have to rely on that Bexploder. Because you know how it goes in this game with submission maneuvers. You know how it goes. You know how we do. Anyhow, we have the fact that this week on WWE Backstage, one Stephen Amell of Arrow fame will be on Backstage. A reminder that Backstage is paid out by Fox and not by WWE. And that's significant because Stephen Amell right now is working with Chris Jericho on the wine, on the sparkling wine, on the on the bubbly, right? He is partnered with that on the bubbly because that's kind of his winery or something. So, yeah, having him on a WWE thing when he worked, like, all in uh, and whatnot, like, he's friends with Cody Rhodes, so that whole thing is really funny. But, hey, it is what it is. And that's the benefit of working with Fox and not working with straight through WWE. So, I'll be curious how he, you know, does. Obviously, the dude loves wrestling. So, that's cool, man. So, the rumor is 
that whole super expensive fiend belt business is a test to see if they can put out more exclusive and higher priced merchandise and will people actually buy that. So this fiend belt is a test for that. Ooh, will folks buy that belt? And if so, they're going to do more of that. And I'm like, man, again, if you have that kind of money, please consider supporting your boy on Patreon or whatever else, because I'd really appreciate it. Anyhow, Natalia and Alexa. So we got to leave Miss Money here, Miss Mella, uh, for last. So that is the beardness. Now, are they going to have the first ever all women's Money in the Bank here without the crux of that Money in the Bank? If you don't have the chinless wonder in here for that money in the bank, that doesn't count. That You can't fake that. That's what happened. That's literally what happened. He was part of both of those. Both the first one and the second one in some capacity. So having him not be a part of that would be weird. But hey, it's not like in a showcase they've had history they've rewritten before. Remember... The Enforcer for, for Austin and Michaels not being Mike Tyson, being just this generic dude. Like, they've done it. They've had matches that had people in those matches that weren't there, that weren't ringside. Like China, who wasn't back in the game until this year. So, that's not that unusual. But it's still, like, alright. How can you... That's a pretty big moment and a pretty big uh, match there. And not having that... The power of Natalia would be really weird. So I would imagine if I, it, if I was making this game, I would skip right over it. But that's just me. Like, we can't do that because you can't have him because he is persona non grata at the moment. So there is that. We have to get rid of both Alexa and Natalia and then fight Miss Mella. And there is that. So that just leaves... Little Mias Bliss. And I hear Carmella in, in their taunting, but, you know. I do like, as you know, there, there are rare things in, in this game I do like. But I like having the actual voice sample of the superstar when they are taunting if that happens in real life. Whoever decided that was a good idea, thank you, because it adds things to the game. It, it adds a element of uh, realism to the game. And I always appreciate when you add more things that are accurate to this bit of beardness. Now then, what is not accurate here is getting my butt kicked by little Miss Biscuit But Ah, oh, here we go. Insult to injury. Yes. Insult to injury. Hey, Mella, you want to break that up or you want to just... All right, I know. It's elimination. You don't have to. But now we're into... The brass tax here. Now I'm getting double teamed for no reason. I don't... Look, I, I get it. I'm straight fire. But if you could chill out for half a freaking second and let me pick one. One of you hit me and one of you not hit me. Figure it out. Like, it's really upsetting. That was a hell of an elbow drop. And Mela is just... Asleep on the ropes. Mella is sleeping. Get up, Becky. You're straight. I'm gonna miss my deal here because I can't. Because I can't. Because I can't. Because I can't. And now submission maneuver. Really? I don't think so. So the problem now is I have submission, and you guys know I can't win on submission. I'm bad at submissions. So, thanks, Alexa. This is just nonsense. How can you book this garbage that they both attack me over and over again and I can't even get out of it? Like, I'm going to lose now because of this trash. Yes, fight each other. I'm rolling out. I'm rolling out. Or I was rolling out. Uh, no. I have to do it, Mela. I have to. Me. It's me. It's me. It's Becky. I didn't even want to do that, so... If I can... Yeah, immediate... Immediate nonsense. Because of course it was. 
Hey, Carmella, get out of my ring. Don't just bump off the... Get up! I'm holding up. You need to get up. You need to get out. And Little Miss Bliss here needs to get put down. Now, I gotta be careful. She has a finisher. Don't roll out! Bruh. Bruh. Get back in here. That was the whole point of doing all this. Was to get rid of you, Alexa Bliss. Get rid of you. It's not gonna be enough. But it's worth a shot. Worth a shot. I sh I shot my shot. And here comes Mella. Who again, I don't need you in the ring, Carmella. You need to be gone. And that didn't work. Get out. Get out. Why won't you get out? You need to be gone. There you go. All right. And then back to Little Miss Bliss, who immediately reverses it. So here's the problem, is with the limited reversals, I only have so much to work with here. And when there are two competitors giving me a hard time, that is a very significant issue. Insult to injury times two, and I don't have res res resiliency anymore, so this could be the end of this that was trash. That was absolutely trash. And somehow it's down to me and Natalia. And Carmella got taken out, but the game didn't fail me yet. So is that supposed to happen? I don't think that's supposed to happen. But she also has two finishers. I have one finisher, so this is going to be potentially a problem if I lose again. And this takes even longer with this absolute hogwash. The manhandle slam! Pinfall. One. Two. Two count. Two count. I have a finisher, but, you know, I don't have an alternate. So all I have is this. Disarmor. And again, she's got like no damage there where it would even matter to her arms. They're still clear. So... Even doing it is kind of against, essentially, essentially pointless. But, you know, I could. But why would I? You know? But I definitely have my resiliency. So there is that. But yeah, I can sit here and wait for it, 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 wait for it. And then do the whole, hey, roll through, disarmor, hold it up, and then... Yeah, it's not... It's not going to make it. I would need a bunch more. No, see, there it is. There it is. There's the computer doing the computer thing. Yep. That's how it goes. And again, she has two finishers. I have zero now. I just need another Bexploder. And I'll be good. And hey, if she does it on the outside, then at least I'm safe on the outside. And then I'll be good. So that's the plan now is to do everything on, on the outside and hope for the best. And hope for the best. So... I'm hoping, I'm fussing, I'm feuding, I'm fighting. I'm really hoping that having Mela out does not totally screw me uh, in this matchup. That's my only real fear here. What I'm going to do here, I'm going to get rid of uh, the Queen of Hearts. And then it's going to be a problem. So, get what? How? Get up! How did that knock me out? Pin. Reach over and pin. Don't you rope break me. And she kicks out. And she kicks out. Good God Almighty, the Queen of Hearts is just that good. Just that strong. Here's a disarmor again. Again. And maybe... There we go. Tappa, tappa, tappa. I won. There were like no cutsies in that match at all. What? How? Oh, yeah, alright, I failed. I won the match, but I failed because the computer got rid of Carmella, and now I have to start the whole thing over again half an hour into this video. I wanted a nice quick video today, and that wasn't the case. Why wouldn't the game fail me? Why wouldn't the game fail me after Mella 
got taken out by somebody else is what should have happened and now I have to start over. Yeah, look at that. Red health, disarmor, and then you're done. But I'm not done because I didn't actually finish all the objectives. Man! This is garbage. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. No, we're done for today. I've done this too many times and the game has screwed me too many times. I'm done. I'm a tax slug. See you next time. I'm out. She's calling for it. Yeah.